Hey guys, what's up? This is Varun, and I have a new tutorial for you guys here. This is on how you can create a Lion Hackintosh from a USB or an external drive. We're going to be using MyHack, a program which you can download in the link in the description. And this is just the most simplest method to actually build this Hackintosh. We're not going to be using any of the Tony Max X86 resources. We're just going to be using MyHack, which is a very, very useful and easy application to use for this Hackintosh. So, first of all, we need to uh, just get ready and uh, just clarify the things we need to build this Hackintosh. We need to have an 8 gigabyte at the minimum uh, size USB drive. So, I'm just going to insert that right here. And we also need the Mac OS X install application. And we just need to install this from the App Store if you already have it. I'm running Snow Leopard, so just you have to download it from the App Store. And it should look something like this. If you have Lion, uh, it will actually delete the install application since you've already installed it. So you need to go ahead and re-download it by holding down the option key in the App Store. Uh, hold down the option key before clicking the purchase tab. Then you'll have the install icon appearing right next to Lion. So you can re-download this install Mac OS X Lion if you already have Lion. But I'm running Snow Leopard so we need this install Mac OS X Lion. Now we need to go ahead and partition our USB drive. So go ahead and open up Disk Utility by using Alfred or any other search program or use Spotlight or going down to your utilities under applications folder and open up disk utility just like so. Now we have disk utility opened up. We need to go ahead and select not the name of the drive but the actual details of the drive. So in this case 16.24 GB whatever whatever. So we need to go here to partition get the current drop down menu to one partition and the options to master boot record since it's an external drive and then for the name just name it whatever you want I named it Lion Hackintosh as you can see and the format should be Mac OS extend, extended journaled so now uh, just go ahead and click on apply I've already done it and I've named it Lion Hackintosh so I don't need to do that right now so we're going to quit out of this utility right now now we can go ahead and boot up my hack just boot it up and now it will ask you for your password just get in your password now choose your install type if you click on the drop down menu right here you'll see create OS 10 10.6 or 10.7 10.7 is Lion and 10.6 is Snow Leopard so we were, we're actually creating a Lion hack in so we just click on OS 10 10.7 click on OK now select the target volume that's just basically your partition you just made so Lion hack in in this case click on OK now it's basically unmounting and doing everything you need to do and we need to actually browse or scan the system for the install application of Mac OS X line. I'm just going to browse manually just to show you guys how you do it. So under applications we need to go and find Mac OS X line the install application. So we need to go ahead and select this. Now it's going to take quite a while so I'll catch you guys when this has actually finished verifying and doing what it needs to do. As you can see, it's finished and it's asking us ready to copy installation data to target and it will say all data currently on, on the partition will be erased. Are you sure you want to proceed? Well, we need to click yes if we want this to work. So click on OK. So as you can see, we have two different uh, things right here. It's, all, it's renamed it to the Mac OS X install ESD and Mac OS X base system. So we have two of these and now let's create the Mac My Hack OS 10 install disk. So now that it's finished, he'll ask us, do you want to use a generic extra that comes with the my hack install disk or you want to specify your own? Since we don't actually have our own at the moment, you can if you want to, but I'm just going to use generic one. And we're nearly done at the moment, so it's going to actually copy the application to the installer. And that is it. And my hack is finished. We are actually we actually can reboot now. So that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, to actually create this Hackintosh uh, for Lion on and from this USB drive. So 
If you have any questions on how you can boot it to a PC, uh, there will be some tips down in the description I can give you, and there will also be a link to the guide on uh, my fix. Because once you boot it uh, onto the PC, it might need to actually render some background processes and all that. And you also need to run my fix to just make sure that everything is stable. But other than that, guys, just check the description for more details on actually booting it onto the PC. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. See you for the next episode of the Apple Tutor. Cheers.